Anyway, Richard Nixon got us off the gold standard, and he did it because of Lyndon Johnson and the spending of the Vietnam War and the fact that we didn't pay for that war. Does that sound familiar to it? And he felt like he was in a bind. So, so his economic experts said, get off the gold standard and we'll have more flexibility. We do have more flexibility off the gold standard, but what we don't have is any adult supervision that when we have when we have debt that accrues and budgets that are out of balance, there's no, there's no mechanism to get us back in line. It takes political leadership to do it. We have none in this country on these issues. So we have gotten far afield. I would consider going back to some version of a more structured account balance, even if it weren't gold. There, there, could be, there could be some matches with currency. There could be ways to do that to keep us in check. The advantage of the gold standard was when you deviated by just a little bit, like 2%, you had to get back in line. So there were many quick fixes to keep us in line, and we had inflation under control. When we got off the gold standard, if you remember, inflation went sky high. Uh, when Jimmy Carter was president, interest rates were at 18%. That's for being off the gold standard. Now, Ron Paul, let me give him props. Ron Paul comes the closest to getting it. I, I like to say Ron learned a lot from me. That's not true. He, he, he was always, before I was, he was really focused on the central bank. I don't think he goes far enough. I would have an annual audit. Uh, I would have changed all the the Federal Reserve board members. I think there are conflicts of interest there. This guy, Bernie Sanders, this socialist a senator from Vermont, is pretty sharp. He, he had a report that listed the conflicts of interest on the Federal Reserve system. It is embarrassing. It is corruption. So a new set of leadership, I would eliminate Humphrey Hawkins as one of the two purviews of, uh, of the Federal Reserve system. I would clean it up. I would audit it, and I would have the economic experts that I could find of a conservative nature like me and see what alternatives we have to either be fixed on gold or totally flexible. We need to be somewhere in between.